No, thank you very much. Next this evening, the president of Kosovo, Hashim Thaci, is in The Hague for an interview with prosecutors who have indicted him on war crimes charges. Thaci is facing questions over his role as a top commander during the Kosovo War of Independence with Serbia. The president and others face multiple accusations, including murder and torture. Thaci has said that if the inquiry goes to trial, he will resign his post and dedicate his attention to fighting the allegations which he says are false. For more on this story, let's cross over to The Hague, where we'll speak to our reporter, Brian Carter. Brian, Thatchy has been speaking with these investigators for hours now. Why is this taking so long and what is being discussed? That's right, Oliver. Uh, Ashim Tachi arrived here today uh, just before 1 o'clock this afternoon. As you can see behind me, reporters are gathering because they expect him to come out anytime soon. But it could still take a few hours, some say even a few days. So we really don't know at this stage. The prosecutor's office is not commenting. But what we know, Oliver, is that the indictment against the president of Kosovo is a pretty damning indictment. It was uh, made uh, in April, but only made public uh, in June. And... Uh, uh, the uh, Kosovo leader and other leaders in Kosovo are being charged for several accounts of uh, murder, torture, persecution. Uh, so we can be sure that today this prosecutor grilled Mithrastachi over his involvement as one of the top commanders of the Kosovo Liberation Army 20 years ago. Uh, Oliver, this court behind me, even though we are in The Hague, was set up by Kosovo law and has primacy over all other courts in Kosovo. So it has extensive powers uh, to uh, ask questions, to investigate uh, events that happened uh, 20 years ago. And so if it took so long, it's probably because the defense team of Mr. Thachi decided to uh, to answer every question from the prosecutor and not uh, stay silent. And that's probably why they have taken so long uh, today uh, in this court behind me. And Brian, as well as the large press pack who are there with you, there's also been Thachi's supporters speaking out in support of him. What did they have to say? That's right. Well, they were here uh, this morning. I spoke to a few of them, and they were all showing their support for Mr. Tachi. Mr. Tachi is a towering figure in Kosovo politics. They see him as the leader of uh, the independence of their country, and they believe that the charges against him are politically motivated. They don't believe that he uh, engaged in war crimes, or some say that if there were crimes, well, it was during a time of war. So they uh, really don't want to see uh, this uh, president being put on trial, because as you said earlier, Oliver, uh, Mr. Thachi has indicated that if he was put on trial, I remind you that for the moment, this is only a pre-trial judge that's reviewing the case, who will decide whether this case is sent to trial. But if it is sent to trial, uh, Mr. Tachi said that he would uh, step down as president. And this would send shockwaves in Kosovo, but throughout the region as the country is still trying to find some kind of arrangement and some kind of uh, uh, deal with Serbia. Brian Carter, all eyes on that door just behind you there. Thank you very much.